Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Juanita. And this is a film starring Alfre Woodard, who is fantastic in Daredevil, and she's working with Netflix again for this film, Juanita, directed by Clark Johnson. It's about a middle-aged woman who, in her fourth wall breaking, which honestly worked really well in this film, that's a fun aspect to shake this film up a bit, but she admits she's stuck in the ghetto with... Her son's in, one son's in jail, one's halfway in a gang, and her daughter, in her words, she's a hoe. And she stays at home and takes care of her granddaughter, and she's a nurse. And she has a lot going on, and she's ups and leaves. And that's where this journey takes her, and she looks on a random map and go, wants to go to Butt, Montana, before being told it's Butte, Montana, and she winds up in a small town called Paper Moon where she connects well with the Native American population here and gets some interesting culture shocks and building some strong relationships. This film really lives and dies by Alfre Woodard, and she is great. She really carries this film. She's charismatic. like, And she brings a lot of different layers to Juanita. She could be very empathetic, and you care about her. She can be kind of a bitch and moments and there's all in between and she's a very interesting character and she really sells this film but it's like it's funny at moments one of the best running gags of the film is she <laughs> keeps having dreams of Blair Underwood and I'm not gonna ruin the gag because it's pretty great but there's one moment where her um, fantasies turn on her her fantasy man Blair Underwood playing himself turns on her and there's a lot of fun, interesting ideas in this, and then there's a part where it gets a little more serious and romantic and finding layers, and that's where the film kind of loses it a little bit. Honestly, when you take a step back, this film, I don't feel like really stands out as something special. They, it laughs at moments, feel at moments, but nothing like that really screams out at you, and this feels like one of the more straightforward, just, here you go, kind of Netflix films, and if it wasn't for Alfre Woodard, it probably would just be eh, mediocre, but she raises this film quite a bit, and brings it to being enjoyable, and it's like an hour and 30 minutes, so it's a pretty easy commitment to it in terms of perspective when you're thinking about film, like I'm going to be sitting through Avengers Endgame, which is literally twice as long as this movie, but I'm going to love that, but I didn't love this film, I thought it was fine. I enjoyed it while I watched it. I enjoyed her budding relationship with Jess, played by Adam Beach, and her interactions with different characters, but it's just, it's a fine film. I'd recommend it if you're just looking for something a little nice to watch. It is rated R, because there's some language and stuff like that in this film, but honestly, it's not that bad. They, it's probably R by necessity, but I think it's a really enjoyable film, and could have some fun with it and it's right there on Netflix so if you have Netflix go check out Juanita is it something to go get Netflix to watch no go watch Stranger Things or something <laughs> or The Office apparently but in other words I think this is fine film would recommend if you just want a little bit of fun and let me know what you think and thank you as always for supporting your Wasteland Reviewer